Winston Churchill, Churchill is famous for having said that you can always count on Americans to do the right thing after they have exhausted every other option. <laughs> It is true, there are many people rolling their eyes about America all around the world because they just kind of don't understand what we're thinking. How could you have let all this happen? But those same people, if they know anything about history, also know this, that if you look throughout our history, it is true that sometimes Americans did take a while to get around to really doing the right thing, but when we do, oh, we slam it like nobody's business and we are gonna slam it now. <clears throat> you know, it's not like Americans don't know what's going on. It's not like Americans haven't known what's going on. I could talk to you all night tonight about millions of chronically traumatized children in this country, 13 million hungry children in America, 100,000 homeless children in America. I could talk to you about the fact that at least a third of Americans live with chronic economic anxiety in the richest country in the world. I could talk to you about the fact that millions of Americans live with this constant gnawing what will happen if I get sick? What will happen if one of my kids gets sick? How will I ever send my kids to college? What will I do to ever get out from under these college loans? I could talk to you about the fact that our national security agenda is dominated more by defense contractors who are trying to shore up their profits than by the actual security needs of the United States of America. I could talk to you about the underlying racial turbulence of the United States stemming from such racial injustice in criminal sentencing, et cetera. I could talk to you about a, a, a critical, critical problem with climate change, which is so bad that if we do not make massive repair and quickly, then we could have a level of mass social collapse within 12, 15, 20, years, unlike anything we have ever seen in the modern era. We could see entire swaths of countries, entire swaths of continents uninhabitable because of the heat. Places where food cannot be grown. Places where people simply cannot be and therefore they seek to leave, thus creating a refugee crisis of hundreds of millions of people if we're not careful, so that there is a level of trauma and global catastrophe unlike we, anything we have ever seen. But this is the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Even if I were to say all these things and give you more details, there's basically not any of that you don't already know. You see, this isn't a time where we all have to say to each other, wake up, you got to understand what's going on. We understand what's going on. And we have understood what was going on. And we chose to look away from what was going on. And what was going on got worse and worse because we looked away. And now we're not actually looking away from what's going on. We all know, in essence, what's going on. This is not the time to say to each other, oh, do you know what's going on? This is the time to say to each other, come on, we need some courage. We can do this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.